Well, I just kind of stumbled into the ultimate gleaning slash foraging opportunity. I'm here at one of my bee yards. It's a farm property where I keep a bunch of bees back here in the, the back corner over there. But the farmers who were farming this plot um, actually pulled out of here um, this winter after um, planting some crops in the in the fall. And so everything's just overgrown, but there's a bunch of beets back here. It looks like some lettuce, bok choy, all sorts of stuff um, growing up through the weeds. And I just talked to the property manager here and he gave me the go ahead to forage anything I find out here. So we're gonna have plenty of veggies for the family. Man, I love beets. There's some, some big ones growing in here. Look at that. Beet greens are good as well. So I'm gonna pull a few of these and bring them home to roast. <laughs> well, my bad. I don't think these are beets. I think they're <laughs> really overgrown radishes. That's crazy. I don't know if these are gonna be much good. These really pretty lettuces. But tasting them. Ooh, they're bitter. They're too old, too strong. Keep looking. Gotta be something we find here. Salvage. Ooh, this might do it. It's like some bok choy. Check these little guys out. Mm, that's good. Bring some bok choy home. And looks like some kale down here. That looks pretty good. Try getting some of that. Yeah, this is. That's good. Bok choy and kale so far. I think I found the grandfather of all bok choys here. Man, that thing's big. I've definitely never grown a bok choy this big. Oh my gosh. I'm holding it behind me now. Not doing the old fish trick. This thing is huge. Even though this bok choy is so big it's really sweet it's mild it's delicious real nice kale here i'm gonna get some of this and bring it home all right i got plenty of kale for the family ton of bok choy i'm gonna walk around a little bit more see if i can find anything else Ooh, look at this score Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful tomato. That's about as vine ripe as it gets. I think I'm gonna have to eat that one right now. Perfect tomato right here. Oh my gosh. That's one of the best tomatoes I've ever had. They don't taste like that at the store. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. It is so juicy and so flavorful and sweet. That's amazing. That was good. That's all that's left of this tomato. Let's see what else we can find. There's a bunch of okra. Most of it's way past its prime, but look at that. Full of seeds. I'm going to take these home. I love growing these in the summertime. I mean, look at all those seeds from one pod. And there are hundreds of these pods. So I'm gonna be able to get all the seeds I need from my garden come summertime. Here's a nice arugula plant growing here. I would pick this, but I have a whole garden bed full of arugula at home, so no need to get it right now. I'm take a walk over here on the other side of the farm. It's really overgrown with weeds, so I don't know how much has survived over here and then I'll take a look at my bees back here in the corner it's a little cool so I'm not going to go in the hives today but just want to make sure the bees are 
looking alive and flying around a little bit. I think I am gonna put my bee suit on, get my smoker going and just pop these lids to make sure these hives are still alive. I do lose some colonies this time of year, so it's just a kind of a numbers thing. Anything less than 30% winter losses is pretty good for beekeeping these days. So these hives looked mostly alive. I'm a little bit unprepared for beekeeping. I have one glove in my truck. Don't have my hive tool, but I found a screwdriver. And luckily, I'll have my smoker. Still got a nice little winter cluster. They're all together, keeping warm. So that looks good for this time of year. Well, these bees are looking pretty good out here. Most of these colonies have made it through the winter, still alive and kicking. And they are needing some nectar. There's not really anything coming in out here right now. So I think I'm gonna put some, some sugar feed on them, get them all fat and happy and get them ready for spring orange blossom. When looking for your own food, you always have to be an opportunist. I came out to this farm property to check on some of my bees here. Um, found out the farmers had recently pulled out of this place. They're not farming it anymore but there was some old crops growing and I scored some really nice veggies out here.